Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where I am going to do a get ready with me. I'm just going to be catching you up a little bit. I have not been filming for a week and a half. I've been to Disney, things have been going on. The collab that I did with Una's Eye has finally launched. It is available right now. I'm so excited. So today I'm going to do a look with both of these palettes together and we're just going to be catching up a little bit. I want to talk about the collab and I also want to catch you up on, I talked a couple of days ago that my pupper was sick. So we took him to the ER. I just want to talk about that as well. We're just catching up. We're catching up. We're playing with makeup. All the other things that I'm using, yeah, there are no like first impressions. All the other things are things that I'm just really enjoying. Full face of things that I'm just really enjoying. I'm gonna start with a primer. This is right now pretty much my ride or die. It's the uh, glow recipe, like the strawberry drops. I'm gonna use that because I want my makeup to last all day. I'm filming this in the morning and I have a full day of work ahead of me and I just wanna have really nice makeup for the rest of the day. I'm gonna be using the REM foundation again. You can see I've been using this a bit. I actually kind of enjoy this one. I do have to set it down a little bit, but I think I'm not gonna set it down today and see how it works with a mattifying primer just to see the longevity. Uh, I will be doing a ranking soon where I like review some of my new makeup and I will be including this one. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the collabs. Let me just show you, in case you didn't see the video, I will link everything down below. This is the Little Ghost palette. This is available right now, like I said. And this is the Trick or Treat palette. This is what this one looks like. Uh, so once I reached out to me about a year ago, I know that my Hella palette was still in stock. It is uh, discontinued. Um, when they reached out to me and they're like, how would you like to do a round two of Hella? We would like her to come back for Halloween what do you have in mind? Like it's something that you would like to do. And as that was happening, I was actually celebrating my first Halloween in the US and I had never celebrated Halloween because we don't really celebrate Halloween in Sweden. Or let me rephrase, I didn't grow up with Halloween. I didn't grow up with Halloween. We had other, of course, like every time I mentioned Midsummers, people are like, is it like the cult? I'm like, no, it's, it's, it's a holiday. <laughs> We celebrate with friends and family. So I had never grown up with Halloween, but we do have some Halloween celebrations in Sweden right now. But the Halloween celebration in Sweden, as it is right now, is so different from the US. And I don't think I fully grasped that until I moved here. Because Halloween in Sweden, the way that I experienced it, was more for adults. Like, it was more like parties for adults and people would dress up, but it was only the super gory, spooky, scary, like people from like horror movies. And I don't like being scared. I don't, I don't mind a, I don't mind gory movies. I don't mind spooky things. I actually love the spooky aesthetics, but for me, Halloween was always associated with like jump scares and I can't do jump scares. I, I actually get angry. Like my initial reaction when someone tries to do a jump scare with me is just to get angry. But it was never like a kid's holiday in Sweden. It was never about the candy. It was never about the, the, the fun, cute decorations. And when I moved here and I was actually able to like, you know, fully dive into the Halloween section at every store imaginable, I realized that there is another side to Halloween as well. One that really I resonate with so much more, which is the more cute kids side. I've always been in very much in tune with like my inner child. And I, I try to think of the color stories of Halloween, which I think is like, just for me experience it, this is the second time I'm going into Halloween season, but I was thinking orange, white, black, purple and yellow. And those are the colors of these palettes. Uh, and I also really wanted to bring in blues because I've never really been able to dive into blues with any of my uh, collections, but I wanted to divide them a bit to make them two very different color stories. And I wanted to make sure when I did the palettes that one was leaning just a little bit more neutral and a little bit more fall, like a classic fall scheme, but just turned up a notch the way that I like it, a little bit more colorful so that it would be a palette that would just very effortlessly fit in with any kind of other neutral palette. Like, like this palette, you can mix and match this with any kind of neutral palette just to bring in a little bit of color. And I also want to do uh, more like neutral looks with this palette because there definitely are 
uh, things that you can do. But I also want to stay true to myself and make like bold color stories with what I think is more unexpected um, color combinations because that is what I liked. So I wanted to do one that was more in the almost like cute growing up with Halloween, like th that kind of color story with the I don't know, just the colorful candy side. That's why some of these things are named after candies as well. That kind of Halloween and not the the super spooky, like scary movie. Just more the, because like, again, this is my second time celebrating Halloween. So for me, it makes sense that I would be attracted first to maybe the kids things because I, I didn't grow up with that. And it's just so fun to see all of that. We did actually buy candy and was hoping for some trick-or-treaters last year but we didn't have any because apparently there are no trick-or-treaters in this neighborhood which is a shame <laughs> i was kind of hoping for that did i vlog that no my mom was here and my mom doesn't mind being in vlogs and stuff like that i don't think we vlogged that specific thing and we didn't have any trick-or-treat there are no kids living in this neighborhood so that was a shame but i was wondering maybe you could help me like because I really want to experience more of that side of Halloween. Like, I went to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party at Disney, which was honestly so fun and so cute. And just the, I don't know, that there's another side of Halloween that I didn't see when I was in Sweden. And that side of Halloween, I am very, very much enjoying. But yeah, I would love to get some suggestions because I don't have kids and there are no kids in this neighborhood. So if you don't have kids and you don't like the jump scary things because I, I just, I don't love the jump scares. Um, what, do you, what would you do to celebrate Halloween? What do you think I should try out? Because I'm very much open for trying out new things and after seeing all the cute decorations and how excited people are for Halloween and seeing that it's not just the blood and gore and scary it's like a whole vibe a whole aesthetics like i would like to see more and also share your favorite halloween movies maybe i've missed some i did watch halloween town last year and i thought it was so cute and of course i've watched hocus pocus and the second one was that the third one i think that was the second one and yeah i would just love to get some suggestions of what like what do you think i should get into because i'm very excited I'm gonna do a little lip liner. This is the, I think it's called Out of Sight. Out of Line, <laughs> almost, from uh, One Size. And I'm gonna be doing this one. And I'm gonna be doing the Red Lippy, the Shadow Creature. I'm gonna be doing that on my lips because I'm gonna be combining the palettes. And I really wanna have something, I'm thinking peach, red, and I wanna do something with the satin white because I really wanted to include a satin in this palette. And I wanna show you how cute it is. I was really feeling red lips, red eyeshadow. Is it too much with the blue top? Maybe. Look, my pan is getting bigger and bigger. I'm so excited. This is probably my favorite bronzer of all time. This is my, well, for sure my most used one. It is the Sunstalker by Fenty in Private Island. And I love it because it is a warm bronzer that is golden not orange which is what i like so i just i like how this looks on me and i think that this is very very beautiful i've also heard that this one i know that kelly gooch loves this one but the lighter one i think kelly gooch has just either a lighter skin tone than me or she doesn't enjoy the sun as much as i do <laughs> i've been really enjoying being out in the sun and i am a summer girly i love summer i will say i do appreciate fall here in Austin more than I did in Sweden because in Sweden fall is just so dark and dreary and like wet and also fall in Sweden was a reminder that we were getting into winter and winter is my least favorite I don't like the darkness I don't like snow I don't like being cold I actually like thoroughly hate being cold like with the passion of a thousand burning suns so I feel for me fall was always the reminder that we were going into my least favorite like season but here where it's a little bit warmer i mean there's nothing wrong with fall the air is getting a little bit more crisp like you are not turning into a crisp when you're going outdoors it is just you know actually putting on a sweater it's sweater weather but 
in Sweden, it was never sweater weather. It was like sweater and a jacket on top and then like an umbrella because it's probably raining. It's just not that cozy season for me. For me. That's how I felt. So I definitely enjoyed it more here, even though, yes, I'm definitely a summer girly at heart. But I am really enjoying seeing the temperatures going down a little bit here, being able to have pants again. <laughs> you know, pants. I miss them. And I don't know, I do love the warmth and I love being warm, but I've really been enjoying fall in a warmer climate and not being like just wet and cold in the darkness for months at end. I mean, I did also see some comments that were like, you don't even celebrate Halloween. It's like, I'm trying to get into, what are you gatekeeping Halloween? I'm, I'm, I'm trying here. Everybody seems to love it, so I'm trying it out. It's like that meme, she doesn't even go here. <laughs> Listen, we're all doing our best. I want to enjoy Halloween as much as everyone else. I'm that kind of person that like when I see people thoroughly enjoying something and I don't truly get it, I do my best to understand it. And I'm thinking maybe should I do like a pumpkin this year? How hard is it to carve a pumpkin? Listen, on a scale of 1 to 10, do you think I'll be able? Maybe that's something me and Ricardo can do. Carve a pumpkin. Is that fun? Like, is it fun or is it just annoying? And how long do they last? Maybe that's something we can do. I say as someone that's like working 24 seven, but, but one of my big projects are now out in the open. Of course, I've been working so hard on this collab. And it's of course like doing collabs, even though I'm not doing everything like I am with Singe, it still takes a lot of time. And this is something that I have been working on now for about a year, give or take a little bit. I honestly don't even know. When I say give or take a little bit, I honestly don't know in which direction, but I do know that I was thinking about this. I do know that we started working with this when Hella was still in stock and we sold out. I'm trying to get some highlighter out. And we sold out of the last of Hella during Black Friday. And I also know that I started thinking about this, if I'm not totally mistaken, when we were getting into Halloween last year. Yeah, for sure. And I was like, so what do I want to do with this? Like, what, what, what can I do with this? And I started thinking about color schemes and, you know, what I haven't done before. And also like, what could be Halloween for me? Anielke Nyqvist, what could Halloween mean to me? And I started looking at like, you know, the decorations that were a little bit more cute, like the, the orange and the, the white and the black and the purple. I really wanted to dive into purples. And it was also something that I haven't done before. And then I snuck in, I snuck in a little bit of blue because I was like, listen, <laughs> we're doing a little bit of blue. Okay, don't come for me. And also I didn't include a black. Instead, I decided to include a couple of other dark shades because I did a metallic black with Hella. And Uda's Eye already has both a satin and a matte black in their non-limited edition palette. So I was like, maybe I shouldn't just take up a slot for a black. And instead I did a very dark brown, a very dark purple, and I did a dark green, and I did a dark red. And I was thinking with this palette, like I said, I'm like, if you take away the Halloween theming, it's like just a really vibrant fall palette with a little bit of an unexpected pop here at the bottom. And this one could be just a really fun bright palette that still has that Halloween-y. That's why I put them together with the purple and the yellow. I was, I'm trying here. <laughs> I'm trying, but I, I mean, I really do like it. Obviously, I made it. Do I want to do a little freckles? I'll do a little freckles and then we'll jump into the eyeshadow because I'm so excited. And we can talk a little bit about Tesla because Tesla was sick. I was so sad for him. He felt so bad, but he's feeling better now. Oh, he's not perfect, but he is definitely better. And I want to talk about it because I love my pupper, even though it's been a very expensive pupper. <laughs> this week, get a dog, they said. It will be more affordable than a kid, they say. I'm going to send my kid to Harvard. Put on some eye primer and we're going to be doing this one, which is candy corn. By the way, <laughs> I asked you because last year I wanted to try candy corn and I'm also going to be using candy apple. Speaking of, I had candy apple when we were at Disney. Heather bought it and I tasted it and it was really good. It was really good, but it was really big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Don't demonetize me. But I had candy apple and I was like, huh, that was nice. I liked it. 
I, I like that. I'm wondering if you can do like smaller pieces. Like, can you make that smaller? I don't know. I could be about that. Anyways, candy corn. I saw that last year and I didn't try it because it came in such like humongous bags, like trash bag size. And I was like, what if I don't like it? Then I just bought like two kilos of like disgusting candy. And so many of you are saying that you love it. So many were saying you hate it. And a lot of you were saying that you don't really love it, but you eat it because of nostalgia, which is like me and most Swedish Christmas food, if we're going to be honest. It just makes me happy to like eat traditional food. <laughs> and me and my husband are celebrating Christmas on vacation this year, which I'm so excited about. It's been a lot of things going on. Like, the, like I said, the puppers have been sick and like we're going on a vacation. It, it, it's been a lot of things going on in our personal life as well that I'm, some I'm not ready to talk about. Not, of course, between me and Ricardo. We're great, but also in some things, um, it's not my place to talk about, like, health issues with others. And it's just, it's been a lot, and I'm looking forward to just spending some time with my husband alone. But I want to try candy corn because some of you said that there are smaller bags of it. And I'm going to keep my eye open for the smaller bags this season, so that if I don't like it, at least I didn't buy that many. But yes, my pupper went sick. He... On Sunday, he was just feeling a little, you know, tired. He didn't want to play. He didn't want to go out. He didn't want to do anything. So normally we have this dog park with our neighbors, but we decided instead to just stay home with the puppers because um, Tesla was not feeling so well. He just wanted to sleep and he also didn't want to have his dinner. Um, and then we noticed the morning after he was starting to drool. When we tried to look in his mouth, he didn't want us to look like he was, you know, he was like scouring away. He didn't want to have breakfast either. And we were like, huh, something is up with his mouth. And then it's just like he took a turn and he didn't want to go up at all. He didn't want to move. He didn't want to go out. I had to like, he didn't want to take a treat. He was just feeling really bad on Monday. So Ricardo took half the day off. And we went into the ER with him because like, listen, my baby is not going to be home feeling bad. And <laughs> spent the fortune, which he is worth. But like, sometimes it's crazy because they're like, oh yeah, that's $2,000. And you're like, for, for, for what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. So they, they did do a lot though. They did blood work on him. Uh, they did do an x-ray on him and they did sedate him. So, I mean, maybe we did get some bang for our buck. And also it was an emergency time. But I'm so grateful that we took him in because we were both so worried for him. And I just, I just needed to get some answers, honestly. So this is the Candy Apple shade, which is the bright red shade from the Trick or Treat palette. So the blood works did show that he was having some kind of an inflammation or something going on with him. But other than that, all of his vitals were perfectly fine. There was nothing to worry about. And they did sedate him and they did do an x-ray. And they also were able now to like really look in his mouth. And first we were like, maybe it's something with the teeth. Um, because that happens with dogs. I mean, Kaisa just had a tooth extracted because she literally ran into another dog trying to steal that dog's toy and broke a tooth off. See, this is what happens when you try to steal toys. Teeth just keep falling out of your actual mouth. So I, I knew that like something with the tooth could like make him hurt a bit, but the x-ray showed that he was very swollen under his tongue and in his throat, but there didn't seem to be anything with the teeth. And when they looked in his mouth, they could see that he was very sm swollen and that it also had like a little bit of an almost wound or cut under his tongue that was bleeding a little bit because we could smell on his breath that it smelled a little metallic. You know how blood smells? So we were like worried about that, but the cut was actually not that bad. And uh, the vet actually, oh my God, did I? get lipstick all over my face. Wow. I did this for a living, you guys. <laughs> lipstick halfway to my ear. And the vet was saying that there's actually a bigger, like, I don't want to call it chance, risk that uh, he bit himself because he was so swollen so that he accidentally bit himself. And that's what the wound was from. But 
they said that like it could just be like a normal um like inflammation like something that's not super aggressive or something to be worried about so they gave him some antibiotics and some anti-inflammatory and they said if he feels better if he's starting to feel better and of course on pain medication um after just a couple of days it probably means that it was just an infection and they don't really know why um but if he doesn't get better with the medication we have to go in again and just see what else it could be they also did take not a full biopsy but they did take some um samples um that we could send to um pathology if we felt like we needed to so we have those samples that we can send if we want to but we're just going to see first how he responds to the medication and i will say he didn't eat then for two days because he didn't want to eat and they also sent us home with some special food that had like a higher um what do you call them energy value like not something you should be giving your dogs all the time because they will turn into small little puffy fat dogs <laughs> but just something to help uh, get some energy in when they haven't been eating it was like wet food that was like supposedly very yummy and also gave him some ap appetite um stimulants i'm trying to find the good english words uh, appetite stimulants so that he would get some energy in him because like you know you probably know this as well when you get really sick you don't want to eat you don't want to do anything but you also know that if you get some energy in you it will help you get like healthier faster but that's not that easy to explain to a dog <laughs> not that easy to explain to a dog um and he did eat the wet food and we were able to get all the medication in him yesterday and actually this morning he was wagging his tail and he met me when i was doing my coffee so hopefully just getting some energy and some pain medication already makes him feel a little better and now we're just gonna see if the swelling goes down and he feels better with the other medication as well but it's so scary when your pets get sick because like you can't ask them like how do you feel what do you think you want to see a doctor super scary but yeah, I will keep you posted on my Instagram what's going on. This one is going up on Thursday and I'm filming this on a Tuesday, but yeah. Oh, poor little Tesla. Such a cutie. I did a little bit under my eyes as well and we're gonna do the darker red and I'm just gonna deepen this up a little bit with the darker red. And I think I'm gonna do, you know what I wanna do? I wanna do cobweb, the satin. I'm gonna do that one and maybe a little bit of either this or this we'll see how i feel when we have everything on i just wanted to do something peachy and red because you know i love that combo and i think that candy apple this red matte is probably top three shades that i am like the most proud of in this collection because it's so vibrant red without pulling pink which is something that i just really really enjoy and i enjoy those kind of shades in my collection and i'm so excited that i now was able to help create one myself okay so this is cobweb i am going to be spraying this because i want this to be a little bit more opaque on the skin but if you just go in with this as is you will just get a little bit of a gleam on the on the top but i want it to be just a little bit more opaque and this is like a it's not a white, it's more like an, an ivory. There's a little bit of a vanilla undertone to this one, so it's not like a stark white. There is a little bit more. And I'm gonna put this on the inner part of the lid. And I think I'm gonna use the matte version of this, which is like a bone-colored matte in the inner corner, and then we're gonna use something to bridge here. I need to figure out if we want the more reddish one, the more corally reddish one, or if we want the more peachy pinky one. But let's start with the matte Wicked. Oh, I love this one. Like a pigmented matte inner corner. It's all I want in life. I have low, I have a low bar for what makes me happy. That looks cute. Okay, let's see. 
Do I want to have the pink? I think we're going to do this one, right? The screech. This one is really pretty and I think... What am I trying to do? You... <laughs> I think you can see maybe down here. You can't see anything. What am I trying to show you? There's a shift to this one. You can't see anything. I see it here. Can you... Can you... <laughs> it is a green to a gold to a pink, this one. And this one is just a very wet looking, super metallic, bright coral with lots of sparkles. So we're going to do this wet looking one. Maybe I can even do it with my finger. Just a little bit like in between. Oh, I got a little speck of fallout. That's cute. Ugh, such a pretty color. That is delicious. Let me finish this look up and we can be done. I think I'm going to do white in my word line. I still have my Mickey Mouse nails. Go Disney. Um, I don't want to brag, but I look like a snack. Who is this babe? Listen, it's okay to say that you think you look good. I look great. I look amazing. Look at this. Look at me. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day. And please let me know if you picked up the collection or not. And if not, that's totally fine too. I'm just here creating things that I talk to another creator behind the scenes. And I'm just, I'm just here creating things that I would give a good review to. Things that I would say, wow, this is a really nice product. I'm so happy I own it. I am so happy to give this an A+. And this is how I feel about this collection and about... To be honest, all the collabs that I've had, this is something that I would give a good review. And that is what I want to like create as well with like Singe in the future. Stuff that I'm like really proud of and stuff that I really enjoy. And of course, this is my vision. And it's one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to work with Unisai again is because they pretty much let me run amok. <laughs> I can do whatever I want and I'm super excited, not like, but you understand, like if I want to put on a neon yellow and put it next to the purple, Henji is like, yeah, sure, you do that. <laughs> and I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for the, 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 the work that we have done together and the communications that we have had together and how open uh, she is to my vision and just how much she trusts me, honestly, and my creative process. And it's just been such an amazing time working with them for, for all of the, the things that we have done together. It's just been super, super nice. And she is also, like, she has an amazing creative vision herself. And sometimes she'll send me something and it's not exactly what I had in mind. But her vision is just so great and just merges so well together with my vision. So it ends up working perfectly. And it's just honestly been an, an amazing, amazing time working with Uden's Eye. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did buy anything, I hope you really enjoy them and that you have fun with them. And that you use them either together with things you already have in your collection or just on its own creating fun things. And if you do, please tag me in your stuff on Instagram or here on YouTube. I would love, 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 love to see all of it. And... I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in uh, tomorrow's video. It's going to be new makeup releases. Bye.